how are you guys? I hope everyone is doing well. Get something to drink, get something to write with, and let's go ahead and jump into the video. In my last video, we talked about clothing, we talked about makeup, we talked about lingerie, heels, jewelry, and skincare. So today I want us to talk a little bit more about the outer appearance as well, but focusing on your senses. Now, fragrance is my favorite. I believe that fragrance is arguably one of the most powerful ways to hold someone's attention. If you just think about like when you're out and you smell something good, think about how your body feels, how your body reacts, and just how your mood changes. It could be smelling donuts. It can be the scent of a man who walked by and his cologne just hypnotized you. It can be the scent of flowers. Smells mean something. As a feminine woman, it's gonna be very important for you to invest. You can have a signature fragrance that, you know, it's just you and you don't have to keep exploring. Or you can change your fragrances depending on your mood, depending on the season, depending on the time of day, depending on where you're going. In addition to just looking put together and clean, when you smell good, people want to be near you. This can help in so many different ways. Just think about it. If you had a nice, clean, feminine fragrance on and you went for a job interview, as you're walking in, you're shaking people's hands and they're just kind of captivated by this very low key smell. Most people won't even know that it's you that smells good, but for some reason, they'll just kind of have like this nice feeling overtake them and they go, is that, are you wearing some perfume? It smells so good. And that is one of the best compliments in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> because it's hard to get universal scents that most people agree with. But for the most part, a lot of fragrances go with your own body chemistry. So take the time and go out into the stores and spray different things on. Figure out which notes go best with your skin. Try it out, you know. Don't do it when you're going to be at work or people are going to have to be subject to it. Do it when you're just doing like a mask and some like house cleaning and see how the scent changes on your body. See how people react to the scent. One thing I've noticed is my perfumes when I was younger that weren't as refined and they were kind of like body sprays or lower end fragrances, those were the ones that tended to be the most offensive, the strong kind of like, you know, alcohol smelling or just too much. But once I started learning about fragrances and going into boutique shops, not like your big Nordstrom and Macy's, but going into some of like the smaller mom and pop shops, the apothecary type shops and smelling those fragrances, I noticed a huge difference from the perfumes that they sell like at Macy's versus the perfumes in these stores. And they really worked better with my body. The scents were very unique, very captivating, and it got me very interested in those types of fragrances. Now, again, it's an investment. They're not cheap. They're not cheap for a reason. <laughs> You're gonna notice a big difference when you use them. Um, but now, stores like Nordstrom and some of the higher end shops are now selling these perfumes that weren't available before. So they're kind of catching on as well. Now as far as specific scents, most feminine scents smell clean, some have a little bit of musk, some floral, some orientals. You really have to play with the fragrances based on your own body chemistry. You will notice that some people are more attracted to like the fresher, cleaner scents, and some people are more attracted to like the more woodsy fragrances. Most men are more attracted to fruity scents, I would say, um, if they're the ones picking. I know vanilla actually does smell <laughs> really good on me, and I like vanilla. I know a lot of women don't, but vanilla is also a very feminine fragrance. If you guys want, I can do a separate video just on fragrances, and I can tell you like my favorite fragrances. If you guys want, let me know and I'll do one. Um, also, fragrance oils. For those of you guys who don't like the alcohol or maybe you just don't wanna like spray your clothes, but you just want a very natural, captivating scent, try an oil. Fragrance oils are good because they're a little bit less intrusive as far as like being very potent and overpowering. I like them the most when I just want it to be subtle, maybe just walk around the house with 
a nice scent but not have to spray myself. If you happen to work in a fragrance-free office, then just wear perfume on the weekends or wear it for yourself around the house. Honestly, when it comes to fragrance, it really does change my mood. It can take me to a certain place in time, it can take me to a certain moment, and most of the time I'm wearing the fragrance for myself because I just want to smell good. It's not really for other people. I actually have perfume that I keep next to my bed and when I want to just kind of like feel relaxed and calm and serene, I'll just spray a little bit in the air or I'll just spray a little bit on my wrist. Um, if I'm laying or reading next to my fiance, I'll spray a little bit like on myself or on the pillows and it just kind of changes the energy in the room. He absolutely loves fragrance on me. Um, that's actually the first compliment he ever gave me was, you smell so good. It does draw people in, it does attract, it can make people just feel ignited being next to you when you smell good. If you want to know which one I was referring to, it's this one by Replica. It's called Lazy Sunday Morning and this is like my bedside fragrance. It smells like linen. It smells very, very clean and very, very, very feminine. This is like femininity in a bottle. Now let's talk about your hair. <laughs> okay, this is, this is a big one. This is a really big one, you guys. Especially being a black woman, as far as your actual hair goes, your hair just needs to look neat. I know that people will go back and forth about what hairstyles are considered to be feminine. Now, generally speaking, when we talk about femininity in its essence, long hair would be considered to be feminine. Now, your hair can be long and straight, long and curly, long and natural, it doesn't matter. Men, specifically men, are most attracted to long hair. And it doesn't really matter if it's a weave or a wig. I do think that a lot of men don't mind weaves and wigs. I think that they really just don't want to know that your hair is not real. As long as they don't know, as long as it's not like just painfully obvious that you're wearing a wig, most men are okay with it. Now, if it's not something that you're doing in terms of attracting a man, you just kind of want to know what can spice up your look and make it look a little bit more feminine, try long hair. It definitely helps if you're trying to like hide any insecurities on your face. It also helps in just making your face look a little bit more slim, a little bit more oval. However, if you don't like long hair, you do not have to wear long hair, but that does feminize you. If you want to try it out, just get a wig. Try a wig out for a week and walk around your house in it walk to the store with it, flip it around a little bit, you know, play with it a little bit and just see how you feel, see how people react. Now, whether your hair is long or short or in a natural style or in a mohawk, it doesn't matter what style it's in. It needs to look clean. I believe that natural hair colors look best, honestly. Whatever is natural for you, I think those colors are usually the most suiting. Um, colors like blonde do kind of feminize you up a little bit because it just makes it look a little bit more fancy um, and I think it depends on your skin tone you have to pick the right colors for your skin tone because it can actually hold you back if you pick colors that wash you out um, or colors that are just eccentric and kind of say something about you and if you ever want to just spice things up a little bit more wear a hat hats and accessories really feminize every woman. You can wear a big rounded hat and that makes your look very classy and feminine. You can do a cute straw hat if you're doing like a beach day. These are very cutesy things that you can kind of just add to your wardrobe and it makes you look more dressed up. It makes you look a little bit more cared for and it definitely makes you look more feminine. Another thing that can help especially if you have natural hair is wearing things like the flower headbands. Those make you look very feminine. They're beautiful. They attract some attention to your face and to your hair. And I think it's a really nice accessory for women to have. But you should have something. You should have accessories in your stash for whenever you wanna play up an outfit or play up your look. You should have something. So start with hats, sunglasses, belts, 
they make a huge difference in your look. Now the last two things I want to talk about are weight and hygiene. As far as hygiene goes, the real important things are teeth, making sure that your teeth are clean, that they are white. People do look at your teeth when they talk to you naturally. They don't do it on purpose, but their eyes will gravitate to your teeth at some point. And if you have things in your teeth, if you have bad breath, if you have stained teeth, um, they're a distraction. People may judge you and think that you're not clean. So just pay attention to your teeth. You know, floss, brush your teeth daily, at least twice a day, but it can be more depending on what you ate, um, depending on whatever hygiene needs you have. But care for your teeth. Visit your dentist. If you have health insurance, you should be taking advantage of that. Go get a cleaning, get a whitening, check for cavities, um, check for bad breath. I believe whether you are feminine, masculine, male, female, it doesn't matter. You really should have a good oral hygiene and good breath. Even if that means you have to carry breath mints in your purse, it's fine. I mean, use it. If you are insecure about your teeth, I would recommend going for a consultation, looking at braces. It does not matter how old you are. It does not matter how old you are. You can get braces at any age. You can change anything about yourself whenever you want to. So if you really want to fix your teeth, go in for a consultation. Find out how much it costs. It might be affordable. There might be programs. There might be payment plans. You have to be brave sometimes and face the things that are challenges for yourself and try and fix it. Just get the information. They have Invisalign where you don't have to wear actual braces, but you can just wear like the clear cap on your teeth. They have um, ones that you only wear at night. There's honestly so much out there now, guys, that there's just no excuse not to educate yourself on some of these things, especially when it's a concern for you, especially when it can take your look from here all the way up here, your confidence. These things matter, you know. In a job interview, when people are, are looking at you, believe it or not, most people, unless they're aware of these things, most people are looking at a whole bunch of other stuff too. They're interviewing other parts of you, not just what you're saying, unfortunately. Unfortunately, they're looking at everything. And lastly, in terms of hygiene, make sure that you're taking showers at least twice a day maybe more if you need to make sure you're washing all parts of your body make sure you go to the doctor and you get your checkups your annual checkups your pap smears make sure that you're staying on top of everything not just your makeup and your skin but what's going on on the inside the last thing i wanted to talk about is weight okay as a woman your weight is going to fluctuate it's going to fluctuate so much during your life, even if you're very thin now. Trust me, things might change. And that's honestly just a beautiful part of being a woman. We're constantly evolving. So don't get too caught up with that piece unless you do struggle with weight. If you do struggle with weight, I would recommend really getting serious, even if that means finally going to see a nutritionist or finally really changing your lifestyle in terms of the foods you're eating, in terms of forcing yourself to exercise a little bit more. People who are fit and healthy appearing are just naturally more attractive to people in every aspect of life. Now, it's not in any way to say that you can't be feminine if you have a certain weight. That's simply not true. You can be feminine no matter what your weight is. You guys, it's one of those things where sometimes you tell yourself, you know, one day I'm going to do that. Or if I got myself together, man, I know I could do that. But it's like, when is that day going to come? When are you going to actually prove it to yourself? When are you actually going to do it? You know, sometimes you have to just stop talking about it and you just have to do it. You have to prove it to yourself that you can do it and not just think that, you know, it would be so nice if I could finally get it together. Weight is the toughest one because that can come from so many other issues that could be spiritual, mental, emotional. Um, it could have to do with pills and things that you have to take. So weight is not an easy one and it is a touchy subject. So I don't in any way want people to think that you have to look a certain way to attract things. Those are my personal feelings, but you guys, it wouldn't be helpful if I sat here and sugarcoated everything for you guys. I have to be real. We live in America. We live in a very superficial country in terms of people being attracted to things that they see. And in this country, 
people do value the healthier looking bodies. So it's important if that is something that is important to you or if you feel very stuck in a certain way and you just can't figure out what it is, maybe try focusing on your health and your fitness and see how that changes how you feel internally, see how it affects things like stress, your blood sugar, um, your attitude, okay? See how it starts impacting the choices of clothing that you're choosing. You feel better when you know that you're not restricting yourself in having to wear only certain clothes based on the way that your body looks. Hopefully the information was helpful to you guys. I know it may be a lot, okay? I know it may be a lot, but everything matters. If you start just trying it out little by little, you're gonna see yourself changing and we're gonna talk about that too. If you know anyone that can benefit from anything that we talked about today, make sure to share the video with them. I'm looking forward to the next video in the series where we're gonna talk about behaving in a feminine way and how to how to act, how to act more feminine. And we're gonna talk about like voice, how to speak to people, um, what people find attractive. So that's coming up next. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Thank you guys so much for all of your feedback and all of your love. You guys are just so supportive and wonderful and I appreciate you guys. Please leave any comments, any tips that you want to share with us about any of the things that we talked about. Please let us know. I mean, it's always good to get information. It's always helpful. And if you guys have any questions for me, let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Big kisses to you all. Peace, love, and light.